let's get into tuners and let's start off with the Kala tuner. Connecting to service. Oh, it might make me sign in or something. Oh, yeah. It sings at me. It looks as though when I log into the Kala app, um, it uh, tries to sell me some stuff first, and then it brings me into the uh, into just the, the tuning section. So uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, uh, tune tune my ukulele. Uh, the first thing that I need to know is uh, what all my strings are supposed to be tuned to. So uh, my bottom string right here, the string that's closest to the floor, is my first string. And then my second string, oh, I'm sorry, that first string right there that we were just talking about, that's an A string. So that's the note that I want to tune that string to. First string, I need to tune to A. Second string uh, should be tuned to an E. Third string should be tuned to a C. And fourth string, the string that's closest to the ceiling, is G. So A, E, C, G. Okay, now uh, this Kala app uh, has uh, a nice uh, little feature. It, we've got the headstock of the uh, ukulele, and it'll uh, it shows you uh, by name on the app uh, which peg corresponds to which string. Um, and uh, it, you can also, uh, if, if you don't have that, or if your app doesn't have that, or, or whatnot, you know, you can you can just follow that string up to the appropriate peg. Get where you want to go. I've got this Kala app going there. Uh, I uh, also have my Snark tuner. Now, uh, when I just turned this Kala app on for the first time, uh, it looks like it's trying to take me through a little tutorial. It's saying, choose G. So I'm going to tap on G. Please allow microphone access for feedback and tuner features. Absolutely, yes, OK. All right, so I've selected G. Um, so the G string is the string that's closest to the ceiling. So uh, I'm going to pluck that string. Okay, and I don't see anything happening on my snark right now. All I see is reflection right now. Um, but on my Kala app, I can see that it says the string is too low. I think I can see the reflection of my kitchen counter up there. Look at that. I think. Yep, there's the olive oil. Huh. Do we need a new battery again? Future Ross gets to edit all this. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, now that's reading. Okay, so my uh, Kala app is telling me that I am too low for that G note. Uh, and on my Snark, it's reading as an F sharp. Now, if I were to look at my musical alphabet, F comes before G, so I could see that, okay, I'm a little, I'm a little too low. I need to tune that up. If you're not sure which way you need to turn the peg in order to make the uh, string pitch go up, uh, just give it a give it a wild turn. Pluck the string and give it a turn. Ah, I heard that go up. Oh, cool. The Kala app is super happy right now. It says that I am in tune. My snark uh, doesn't seem to agree. Uh, my snark seems to think I'm still a little flat. Um, if Oh, there we go. When I am in tune on the snark, it will show up with that that green, that green uh, or blue, however your eye registers that that particular color. Uh, that's what it'll look like on the snark when it says we're in tune. Now, as I am plucking this G, uh, Kala continues to tell me. Well, it's telling me a lot of things. Um, it's telling me a lot of things because it's using my phone's. Uh, microphone. So that microphone is picking up everything here in the room. It's picking up my voice as I'm talking. It's picking up 
the tone of my strings, it's picking up the ceiling fan that I've got on right now, and any other sound that might be coming in from, from outside. Uh, it's, it's picking up all that information, uh, and that can confuse the tuner. Um, so uh, it, it, if your uh, phone is getting distracted, if it's hearing a lot of other things, uh, it can be a little difficult to tune. All right, the Kala app is insisting that I uh, select the C string next, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so that is this peg for me. All right, so Snark says it's a B, and the Kala app uh, indicates that that is too low to be a C. So I need to tune up. Uh, I'm going to turn this way because that worked for me last time. And I'm going to turn that peg slowly as I pluck so I can hear with my ear and see on either my snark or the app that the sound is going up. Oh, and the Kala app just beeped. It said I'm in tune. And the snark agrees in this, in this case. Cool. All right, so it wants me to move right along to the E, so I'm going to tap the E peg. Okay, once again, it's telling me that uh, I'm too low. It's my, my snark is reading an E note, but see how I'm in the uh, like all in the red down there? It means I'm still too low. I'm not perfectly tuned to an E. So I need to make sure that I'm turning the right peg. And uh, let's see, let's, let's turn that peg in the same direction as we did before. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Now I'm, now I'm even lower, so I need to go in the other direction. Ah, and there we go. The tuners are in agreement that that is now an E note. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna tap the A on the app there. Okay, so A is currently too low, according to the Kala app, and my snark agrees, of course. So I need to tighten that string up. There we go, all right. And we are all in tune. Cool. So uh, this this Kala app uh, so far seems to be uh, pretty fun, uh, uh, pretty easy to use as long as the microphone on your phone is decent uh, and you're in a quiet space. Uh, this this app is probably a good one to uh, to use if you're. Uh, if you don't have an electric tuner, a clip-on or, or otherwise, um, and uh, as long as you've got a quiet space to be uh, tuning up in, uh, you're good to go. Um, if you are part of a ukulele ensemble or, or you know, a, some sort of group, um, you know, tuning in one of those loud, bustling rooms, it's going to be a little challenging if you're using an app like this. So finding a quiet corner or just tuning before you head in um, would probably be a good idea. All right. Uh, we'll next time we'll try out a different app and uh, and see how that goes.